So you think you're invincible. You think nothing's gonna happen to you. Well, I used to think the same thing. I thought that I was Superman, I guess. At the age of 15, I started smoking cigarettes. No, nah, actually, I was, old, I was younger than that. I was smoking cigarettes when I was 12. <sighs> started uh, drinking in my early teens. Always ate whatever the heck I felt like eating. And that was my life story. Until I was in my mid-30s, I finally quit smoking and drinking. But I thought I was invincible. I thought nothing could happen to me. But I continued to live without uh, even having any clue of what it was like to eat healthy. Didn't care. Why? Because I was invincible. Continued doing things um, in that manner where I wasn't, I didn't know what a proper exercise was. I didn't care. I was invincible. You know what prompted me to, to share this? I just got news on Facebook that another one of my classmates passed away. Another one. So many people my age have had heart attacks and cancer and different things like that. And when you, now that I've had a heart attack, which I had when I was, um, 57, I'm now 58 and a half, but when I was 57, I had a heart attack and it almost killed me. A lot of you already know that, but I thought I was invincible up to that point. And so now I've done a bunch of research and, um, and I'm finding out that I'm not invincible. <laughs> that I actually have to do certain things to keep up this body. If I want to live in such a fashion that I'm not in pain, I'm not in pain, I'm not slow, I don't hurt, my brain works properly, I had to change, I had to change. So, you know, just the, the thought just came to me, it's kind of like a car. If you don't change the oil and you don't keep it up, the engine dies. That's what happened, almost happened to me. I wasn't doing things properly. I didn't, I was invincible and it almost killed me. And I still see plenty of people out there who are still posting pictures of their, their, uh, sugary alcoholic drinks and just you know the cakes the pies and all that stuff and <laughs> so if you'll hear me one more time i'm going to put it out there one more time foods things that you consume that are high on the glycemic index cause inflammation in your body they also cause insulin spikes, sugar spikes, insulin spikes. If you continue on that path, it will kill you. It will kill you. I was very fortunate that it didn't kill me, but it almost did. And I learned that I wasn't invincible and what I need to do to change it. And now I'm might live to be a hundred. I don't know. Don't really want to, but, <laughs> but all I know is, you know, and I'm not, I'm not trying to live forever, but what I am trying to do is feel good while I'm alive. I don't want to be in pain. I don't want my back to hurt. I don't want my hips to hurt. Um, and, and all that stuff, which is due to inflammation. My knees don't have to hurt. My back doesn't have to hurt. I don't have to have chest pains. I don't have to have um, 
a stroke. I don't have to have any of that stuff. It doesn't have to happen to me. I can go on until the, the time that the Lord says it's, it's time for me to come home and be with him. And I don't have to feel like crap until then. You know, they tell you as you get older, you, um, you just, you feel bad. You start losing your memory. You feel bad. Your joints hurt. Your muscles hurt. You don't have to. All that stuff is a result of not taking care, not taking proper care of, of your, um, your vehicle. <clears throat> if you don't rotate your tires, they're not going to last as long. You can take a set of tires on your vehicle that should last 60,000 miles and they'll only last 30,000 if you don't rotate them and you drive like an idiot. Well, <laughs> if you're driving the body that you live in like an idiot, like I was, it's not going to last as long. It's only going to last about half as long. And I'm hearing now that I'm, I'm approaching 60, I'm, I'm, I'll be 59 in a couple months. I'm hearing more and more of people my age who are dying of heart attacks, strokes, diabetes, cancer. All these things that I just listed, a major contributor is simply what we eat. It really is. Um, gosh, I just... It's, it's, I watched, um, I watched the video with Dr. Eric Berg. Dr. Eric Berg said, and he's pretty blunt. He said, if you have a belly poking out, if you have a belly poking out, you do have fatty liver disease. You just do. You are the, the chance of you being pre-diabetic is extremely high. Inflammation in your body, in your liver, inflammation in your liver, your pancreas is getting messed up, all that stuff. And, and here's, here's, and please hear my heart on this. I'm saying this in love. I'm saying this because I care for people. As I walk around you know, walking to the grocery store, there's nothing, nothing in your face in a grocery store except for stuff that is bad for you. Everything that is bad for you is in your face. As you walk through the door, as you go to the checkout line, everything is Entenmann's, um, coffee cakes, donuts, and just all this trash, all this stuff that is, that is a major part of most of our diets. It was mine for most of my life up until a year ago. And I see people, you know, as I, as I walk around, as I do things, I go out, um, I see people, person after person after person, I'm just going to put it this way, that don't look healthy. I can look at a person and say, wow, they're hurting themselves, they're killing themselves. I can you just look at them, you know, just, just look at each other. I think it's, um, in this country, I think it's considered that over 40% of people in this country are obese. 40%, over 40% are obese. It doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't. I put pictures up of my food on my Facebook page. I, I do all these videos and I put it all out there because I care about you. I don't need to put pictures of my food up. I don't. I don't need to, to post the fact that I got out and I, 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 you know, I mean, I did it again today. I went over three miles. I did some, a lot of jogging in that. And uh, I'm building up my strength. I'm building up stamina. <clears throat> I can do things now that I couldn't do in my late 40s doesn't hurt as much. I weigh 25 pounds less. But why am I doing all this? Am I doing it to get an applause from you? No. I really don't care 
what you think of me. I'm, I'm not doing this to, to get any glory. I'm doing this because I care about you. That's why I'm putting these videos out. That's why I'm posting the pictures of my food. That's why I put all those posts out. Because I was invincible until I wasn't. I was invincible until my arteries were completely clogged. I'm just being honest. And I really hope that this strikes something in you. We're killing ourselves. We're killing ourselves way before we need to go. I watched Dr. Mark Hyman, good guy to watch. Uh, he wrote a book, um, Young Forever or something like that. Can't remember the exact title of it, but um, Young Forever. Your body does not have to fall apart prematurely. It doesn't. There's no reason for it other than we don't care. So if you don't care and you want to have a heart attack and not see your grandchildren and um, make your, your children and your, your spouse have to bury you 20, 30 years before you should be going, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. But if you want to feel good and you don't want your, your brain to be starved of what it needs, then it's time to change. Please feel free to comment, um, message me, whatever. And I will, I will send you right to uh, a handful of people that, that uh, have put all this stuff out there the things that I've been researching and who I've been following. Dr. Sten Ekberg is my favorite. He's, um, he's a holistic doctor, a, um, was a, uh, a decathlete or something like that in the, in the, the Olympics years ago. And, uh, he does keto. I don't do keto, but he has a whole lot to say about eating properly. And I'm not an a keto advocate. If you want to do that, go ahead. That's, that's up to you. I don't have to do it. I don't need to do it. I don't, it's just not, uh, I don't want to. I do keep my net grams of carbohydrates below a hundred per day, usually around 70. It would be easy for me to get into keto. All I have to do is knock about 20 to 25 grams off of that, which is very easy for me to do. Um, but I don't do it. I just, um, I think personally, I think certain things are, are good for me. The, um, um, complex carbohydrates that I eat, steel cut oatmeal in the morning. I think it's good for you. It's pre, it's filled with uh, a lot of vitamins, minerals, prebiotics and stuff like that. So that's why I eat them. But there's a lot of things that, a lot of things in my diet that I changed and I put up videos you know, uh, I, I learned something new this morning. Grass, uh, I'm sorry, free range eggs, free range eggs. Eggs that you buy at the grocery store that are pasteurized and um, are from, you know, typical, normal, you know, nothing special eggs. They're just eggs, safe, you know, um, grocery store eggs. Those eggs have a omega-6 to omega-3 ratio of 19 to 1 up to, you know, up to 19 to one. That's something we need to study and research. Um, what's your, what's your, 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 your omega six to omega three ratio is, but a free range egg, free range chickens, eggs, the ratio is one to one. That means you're not getting a whole bunch of omega six, you know, an overabundance of omega six fatty acids. You're getting the right amount. It has a whole lot to do with inflammation in your body. It's why I put the post out there. It's why I put pictures of my, my, uh, my breakfast and my, my lunch, my you know, big salads and, you know, the, the dinners where, uh, my dinners are 
I, I'm telling you, man, I eat amazing. I eat really, really good. My food is uh, just tremendously tasty. It's delicious and it's very healthy. And, and, and it's not hard to do. The problem is I don't grab a box off the shelf in the grocery store. I actually buy fruits and vegetables and I cook them. I prepare them. And man, it takes a long time, usually about 20 minutes to make my dinner. Maybe 10, 20 minutes to make my breakfast. You know, all together. Yep. But I'm not killing myself anymore. I'm making myself healthier. So if you'll take it from me, someone who is approaching 60 years old and losing friends losing acquaintance, losing people that I went to school with. If you want to take it from me, you're not invincible. You're not. You're just not invincible. And it's never too late to start. I didn't start until I was 57 and a half years old after having my heart attack. That's when I started. And now... I'm in, I'm getting in great shape. I just am. God gave me a second chance so I could run my mouth on YouTube and tell you that you're not invincible. So give it a thought. Give it a try. Look up Dr. Sten Eckberg um, on YouTube. I will put, uh, I'll, I'll post one of his videos in the comment section of this video. He's, he's the real deal. He teaches you the you know the the rights and the wrongs and how the food on our uh, on our grocery store shelves is killing us and it's all FDA approved. So anyway, I hope this strikes something in your heart. Please uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, share, all that fun YouTube stuff, and we will see you on the next one. God bless.